Unturned has a serious problem. Now I know if you've been in the Unturned community for a while now, you've seen videos with this type of title before. There have been videos talking about the problems with Unturned, or a problem with Unturned, or Unturned's map problems, or Unturned's YouTube problems, and stuff like that. However, this video is different, because this problem is actually a serious and real issue with this game that I have observed over the last six years of playing this game. I've been playing this game since 2016. And this issue is the reason why 90% of people that pick up this game don't make it past 20 hours of playtime. And it has nothing to do with the unturned maps, it has nothing to do with the gunplay or the zombies or anything of that nature. It has to do with this one simple thing, and that simple thing is the server list. Now, I'm probably confusing a lot of people right now by saying that it's the server list. Oh, Zeman, what do you mean? I can find my favorite servers just fine. Yeah, well, that's great for you, but what if you're just picking up the game today and you have to go through the minefield that is the unturned server list? The unturned server list is kind of just really hard to navigate for new players. When a new player goes to try to find a server, sure, probably they'll make it to the internet, you know, tab and they'll just go on a server, but they don't know about, oh, you, you click up here on the player list and that's where you find the servers with the most players. And for the players that do know that that's how you find a high populated server, all of the high populated servers are either a modded mess, warzone, RP, or un turned 1,000 more billion times loot. Now, this is fine for people that have played the game for a long time. We can navigate these servers just fine, but if you're a new player and your first experience for this game is this weird-ass server with, like, hentai mods on it, it's not a good first impression of the game. And I have seen this happen time and time again. When I ever see, let's say, a YouTuber or an outside influencer, content creator, or whatever, make a video on Unturned, for some reason they always seem to play on the weirdest fucking server. They'll play on some like modded mess or some weird modded Russian shit, or a Russian server for that matter. I feel like this is the kind of game that if people found out that you played it and you're like in high school, you're probably gonna get bullied. And the problem there is that that is a bad first impression of the game, I think. I think that when somebody is first playing this game, they should play on a server that is an accurate representation of what this game actually is, vanilla-wise. Of course, I'm sure there are that small few that play single-player first before they go on a multiplayer server, but I feel like that's a rarity because the first time I played this game, I played multiplayer, and that's the same for everybody else, I feel, that just picks up this game the first time is they go straight to multiplayer because most games of this caliber are multiplayer games and that's where the fun is to be had when you're playing in single player it's just a boring mess unturned is designed to be a multiplayer game now i'm talking about how the server list is a mess and most new players can't get past 10 or 20 hours of playtime before quitting this game just because they can't find a good server to play, which is why I have a solution. Unturned 3.0 needs official servers. A vanilla experience. Just plain vanilla, the basic unturned experience. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Oh, but Z-Man, they're not going to find the server in the player list because it's going to be zero pop. Nobody's going to play vanilla. Nobody plays unturned vanilla. And yeah, you're right. Nobody plays unturned vanilla. Everyone plays some modded shit or some modified version of the game. Even a server that is like semi-vanilla that has TPA. Still, nobody plays vanilla. At least that I see. I'm sure there's a small community of people who do. Which is why I have a solution. And this is like my big... My big brain idea that I think would save this game. We pin these official servers to the top of the server list. The unturned server list needs a revamp where there's this little section at the top where it's the actual official servers. Like if you go to any tab on the left, this little section would still be there at all times. I think that there should be pinned servers at the top of the server list. Maybe it's like its own box a little bit where those are the official servers, but then below you could scroll around and find a community server or a 
community hosted server or a modded server, stuff like that. I think that there should be a server for each map that has been released for Unturned. So all the official maps like Yukon, Washington, Russia, those maps should have their own servers, their own vanilla servers. And then maybe uh, throw in Kuwait, Arid, and Elver as well, because those are the biggest maps to ever be released for Unturned, curated-wise. Like, if you go to the Unturned Workshop, each of those maps have over a million downloads, like a decent percentage. I'd say no less than 10% of the people that actually have this game installed onto their computer have those maps installed as well, have them downloaded so i think those maps should be included if unturned had official servers now i think that this solution would increase the unturned population because if you're a new person that's playing the game you'd go to the server list and there would at least be a higher chance of you joining a vanilla server where you go and you you play the game i guess as intended now of course there's still a chance that people will just find vanilla boring and just not play the game anymore but i feel that this would at least increase the threshold of people that would continue to play this game because I swear, 90% of people that pick up this game drop it after 10 hours and never play it again. And it's unfortunate because there's a lot of fun to actually be had in this game. Like, if I recall correctly, Unturned has somewhere around 20 million downloads or something like that. Uh, and only 50,000 to 20,000 people play it every day. That's like less than 1% of people that actively play the game after picking it up. Now, obviously, I don't know the logistics of this. I know you could just, Nelson could just, you know, either rent a machines to host servers off of or outright buy machines to host servers off of if he wanted to. Maybe he would need EU servers and North American servers and maybe other servers. So maybe he would need more official servers. Maybe he'd need official servers in other languages. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not a 100% expert on this, but I feel like something like this needs to be implemented into the game because I think it would improve the experience at least. It doesn't have to be formatted in the way that I've suggested. Uh, this is just my suggestion i'm not a fucking expert so my suggestions may not be the best but i do think this is the route nelson should take especially considering he said that unturned four would have official servers i think he should just do that for three since nelson has already done a lot of other stuff that he was going to do in 4.0 he just ported it over to three maybe he should just do this hosting the official servers for 3.0 but yeah that's my video um i've been thinking about this for like the last like week or two and uh i think this should be a thing for unturned so if you guys agree with this video feel free to share it with nelson or send it to him or whatever or, or share it around in unturned discord servers or other unturned communities and stuff like that uh feel free to share it around and stuff if you guys agree with me uh, because I think this is the way to go for Unturned. So with that being said, that was the video. I'm Zman1064, and uh, thank you guys for watching.